Warriors have now won three of their last five. In what ways was this a step in the right direction for them? Seeing six other guys in double figures. I think Steph started off slow. He struggled some. But when you get those other guys making shots, his job will ultimately be easier. If his job's easier, they're a better team. Getting those other guys balanced. He still got his points. He got his numbers. Didn't shoot it great. But I think that bodes well for them in the future. I think they did a good job of, of limiting them. I know 114 is a lot. But still, a lot of those came kind of at the end of the game. I think Dario Saric, he's the man. He does so much for them. He is exactly what they need. Winner, too. Uh, a winner, and his skill set is, is perfect for them. The passer, a willing shooter, a uh, good rebounder, uh, underrated defender. And I think, for me, looking at that second unit, to see them with Moses Moody do really well was a great step in a great direction. And seeing Clay string together some 20-point games also got to give you hope. 30 assists for the Warriors tonight. Nine different players handed them out. Eight of them had at least two assists. Time for our Metro by T-Mobile no-nonsense stat. And here it is. Golden State scoring. It's actually multiple stats. I'm going to quibble. Was this a buffet? Because everybody was Everybody the That's Listen. the Warriors way. <laughs> is this a stat or just a list of scores? Dude, this is crazy. That's, you got it. It's welcomed. If what was the game? What do you think the game plan was? If a team's scoring like that, what was the game plan? Swiss, Swiss cheese. I don't know. I mean, they're scoring from everywhere. Like, the, everything's open. If you got seven guys in double figures, two guys over 20. Like, you got Kawhi Leonard and Paul George and Russell Westbrook on your team. Come on. We well, and, and this is off the more reminiscent of, like, the Warriors at their best when they move the ball around and everybody gets easy shots, right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's what they're hoping for. As for the Clippers, second night of a back-to-back, -back, that's always tough. 44% not terrible. The three-point shooting is not terrible. They didn't turn it over very much. They just couldn't consistently keep up scoring with the Warriors tonight. Well, they play slow. Yeah. It's methodical. It's disjointed. It's your turn, my turn. Even though the spirit is right, the, the construction is not. And that's where Harden, to me, has to come off the bench to give balance. He had 18 points tonight. He could still get those points off the bench. But you empower Westbrook. You empower PG. You empower Kawhi. Right now, it's just the possessions mean more because there's not a lot of them. After, watch, after you said that in the first half, I watched the second half, and I wrote down some things. Russ fits the starters so much better. He pushes the pace yes, for them to them get pace. easy buckets. He has a better relationship with Zoo on that screen and roll. He allows PG, who had, I think he had nine or ten assists tonight, to not be a facilitator where he's best at. He's, we talked about PG is one of my favorites. He has a skill set of an elite player, but he's better when he's going off and getting 24-30. Same with Kawhi. But when they're standing watching, right, you're standing and watching James at the same time. And the biggest thing we're not even taking advantage of is Russ's defense. When you start off the game with a defensive-minded, unselfish player who doesn't need the ball but is going to cut, who's going to move, regardless of his mistakes, he's going to set the tone for the game. Mm. You looked at the end of the game, they were hunting James Harden. Yes. Yeah. Right? And for me, you look at the bench, imagine James Harden with that bench, what he's going to do. Now you could take almost everyone out and allow him to just operate that and then run him off for eight minutes in a row, go get your thing, and you're not going to get punished offensively. You know what else it could do defensive. if you bring Harden off the bench? You could bring Bones Highland back in the game. Mm. Yeah. Because you could have another score to go with him on that second unit who has no problem playing off of him. And he can play at slower pace. Like you said, Westbrook brings tempo. He brings flow. He brings pace. Yep. He forces the stars to run fast. Yeah. Energy. Right? Energy. Energy. He plays right. really, really hard. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah. an understatement. But yeah. it just it's a weird fit. And I just think you look at the firepower off their bench, Daniel Tice, and you're like, you can't, you know, Westbrook and Tice and, and Bones, you're like, I don't know. Then you got to keep your starters in too long. Yeah. And now you're messing with the And none of them are really happy, right? No, because, they don't yeah. look happy. They look like, what are you going to do? Okay, you go. Okay, next time I get it, bing, bang, boom. Mm. And then every time they want to play one on one, what do teams do? Double team PG, make the extra pass, double team Kawhi, make a tough shot. Like, it's, it's going to be rough for them for the next month or so. It's something that he can't do every single night. Mm. He's how he can do this every single night. He hasn't figured out. Yeah, you know who he reminds me of with that dribble is Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson never moved fast, but you were like, how did, how did you get by me? And the way he's doing it, the way he plays, the maturity in it, it's like, you know what, this layup's for me. Now, hey, I know I missed you last time. I'm going to get this for you next time. And for him to become that leader, watching him with the Clippers, and then seeing him grow in this Oklahoma City, like this, this, uh, the team has been amazing because those young guys 
Everyone gets to eat off his table. Yes. And his teammates are all about him, and I love it. I love watching that team be successful. Did not have Joe Johnson on the show bingo card. Ooh. Me neither. I like it. <laughs> Me neither. I like it. All right. Uh, Lakers oh, finished like their road trip 2-2. Two and two. Familiar faces. Points 10 boards, 8 assists. Mm. Knicks get the win, 118 to 112. The misery continues for the Pistons. 16 straight losses overall for Detroit, who becomes the eighth team ever to finish a calendar month 0-15 or worse. I thought we won Monday No, we did not, York. Kenny. Don't, don't put that on us. I thought we did. We had some rough stretches. Was it over? February? As it turns out, I have some information on this. Okay, here we go. The two of you as Knicks uh, in February of 2006, I knew it. 1 and 11. So you did not have an over. Okay, no we got win. one. We're no not win. on the list. No I told you. Hey, them, uh, one win. Those losses were <laughs> getting heavy. So you, you guys can relate to what they're going through. And in New York, it was worse, to be honest. Oh. Like, everything felt like it was collapsing. So, come on, Detroit. Come on, Detroit. We need just one. Just no get one. November. No win November. <laughs> no win. That's tough. <laughs> that's not supposed to be a thing. All right, good. <laughs> December's coming. That's the good news. It is coming. Better times are coming, Detroit. Sooner or later, I promise. I mean, it will. Uh, thanks for being there, everybody. Channing. Hey there, everybody. Welcome in for the latest edition of Game Time presented by Kia Channing Fried, Jamal Crawford. I'm Matt Weiner. Check your calendars. December has arrived. But first, we have to wrap up the final day of November, which is a big day in San Francisco. November 30, 2023, 11 30, 23. The jersey numbers of the Warriors' big three. Clay Thompson, number 11, Steph Curry, number 30, Draymond Green, number 23, four championships for the three of them. Put on your tinfoil hat. This was a big Conspiracy thing. theory. This was a big thing in San Francisco. No Andrew Wiggins available for the dubs as they face the LA Clippers on the second night of a back-to-back. That's James Harden doing his thing. Big win in Sacramento on Wednesday night. Steph comes right back. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Steph walking it up and then walking into a three. Steph called for the foul here, and Steph is teed up. That doesn't happen very often. Ooh, last doesn't. time I saw that, he threw his report. But it's in. There we got a dud out there. And the Dubs <laughs> get the win. They're now 5-1 and one when they record 30 or more assists, which they did in this game. Clippers 0-3, allowing 120 points this season. Good sign. The bench points and Klay Thompson 20-plus in four of his last five. As for the Clippers, they dropped to 5-8 and eight now since James Harden joined that lineup. 13 games is, you know, not a huge sample size, but it's not a tiny one. What are you seeing from this team? I don't like what I see right now. I think... Channing, stop. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I, I think James needs to go to the bench. And, mm -hmm. and the reason being, the way he plays, it doesn't take away from the other players, but to me it doesn't really empower the other players. And Kawhi should be your main focus. Paul George should be next. And I think Russ fits better with that. James having the ball in his hands can dominate. He can, you know, have the rock longer coming off the bench. And he can dictate and still get the same numbers. I think to me, you, you make some great points. I think pushing the pace and getting them easy shots, they don't...
hát xóa nhạc với từng tình huống rồi sau nữa sức mạnh của âm thanh cũng rất là ghê gớm cậu mới xem thì biết đấy trong góc cảnh quay lãng mạn đêm sẽ du dương khi tới đoạn cao trào căng thẳng sẽ đệm nhạc trong ma quái hồi hộp vì đến đoạn cao trào thì những bản nhạc hùng tráng sẽ giúp cảm xúc người ta xem được hoành tráng hơn tớ sẽ ví dụ cho cậu hiểu bây giờ cậu thử nhớ lại mùi vị của chiếc bánh bao cậu vừa ăn xem phức tạp thế nhỉ kể ra thì cái bánh ấy cũng ngon hơn một khi ấy thấy chưa bàn nhạc bắt đầu chơi một bản hợp với tâm trạng Đúng rồi, tớ có cảm giác bé kem của mẹ Làm rất chi là ngon Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo Chào mừng các bạn đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình xin đọc tiếp phần 2 của câu chuyện Giàn nhạc cảm xúc Trong uh, cuốn truyện Doraemon thì xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Phải có lúc khóc cười như thế mới gọi là sống đúng nghĩa con người chứ Hay lắm, từ nay mình sẽ sống cho ra sống Hãy chơi một khúc quan hành hoành tráng Ha ha, chân tay tự rung lên theo điệu nhạc Nobita làm gì mà tung tăng lại đây thế nhỉ? Hoàng Nhật muôn năm, ơ ờ, muôn năm Hình như nó bị tâm thần Tùng tùng, tớ tùng tùng Nobita đấy à Hôm nay bố cho câu nhiều lắm Con cá to Chưa này Con cá to chưa này Bố sẽ làm Gì với ông bố Ừ, đem nướng lên Hoặc chiên giòn lên mới ngon ủa tiếng nhạc tiếng nhạc nỉ non ở đâu ra nhỉ nếu tao không nếu không bệ bố tao câu quản thì giờ này mình đang được tung tăng bơi lội bố sẽ làm gì với nó Ờ, đem nướng lên hoặc à, chiên giòn gì đó Ủa, tiếng nhạc nỉ non ở đâu ra vậy? Nếu không bị bố tao câu phải Thì giờ này đang được tung tăng bơi lội Rồi lát nữa đây Mẹ tao sẽ chặt mày ra từng khúc Và rồi cho lên bếp lửa Mày thật là đáng thương Thôi thôi, để bố thả con cá xuống sông Hả? Ê, tội mày hơi thái quá rồi đấy Từ nay cùng... Từ nay đừng chơi những bản nhạc buồn nữa nghe chưa Chẳng có việc du, gì vui Một chút gì cả Để ban nhạc Còn chơi bài nào yêu cho đời Cảm xúc dâng trào Ôi mẹ ơi tha cho con Con chừa Con chừa rồi Từ nay con sẽ là một đứa bé ngoan Đáng đời tên mập trai em Ha ha, bạn nhạc buồn cười quá Ê, được ngại Ha ha, người khác bị đánh buồn cười lắm Không phải thế Ha ha, ta sẽ ngừng lại cơ mà Hi hi Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo